Are you getting excited about the Ryder Cup? Let me say hello to a man who certainly is. Paul McGinley. Paul, good morning. Good morning. How are you? I am very well, thank you, Paul. Um, you've, uh, I suppose, a, a lot of swings to take before the Ryder Cup actually takes you the whole way to Celtic Manor. But th- there's a nerve of excitement which you can almost reach out and cut at the moment. Yeah, there is because both teams now have been um, have been confirmed. Americans made the picks the other day, and uh, it's full steam ahead. And it, I think it's great for the Ryder Cup. The Tigers going to be playing as well too. It's going to add add to the excitement of it. Was there ever really a question mark over his selection? Uh, not in my mind. Um, I mean, a 70% Tiger or even a 60% Tiger is still a very formidable competitor. So um, I, I think it would have been a mistake for the Americans not to pick him. Um, and as I say, he led to the event and it would be sweeter for us if we can beat them with Tiger in their team. And how difficult is it to pick a team? You know, how difficult was it for Monty to pick the European team? And as a vice captain, do you have significant input to that? Yeah, we did. We did. Uh, myself, Darren, Thomas Bjorn uh, and Monty spent uh, four or five hours together that Sunday afternoon uh, around the table, throwing all the permutations up and who we were going to pick. And <clears throat> excuse me. And it was um, it was difficult. You know, we've left out a player in the top ten in the world and Paul Casey and but the problem is with so many really, really good players with strong credentials looking for picks, uh, Monty only had three picks. So it was, a, it was a difficult call to make, a very difficult call. But uh, we, we've gone with three players that we believe will serve the team best. It's quite amazing that there's so much Irish involvement. I think we're particularly uh, proud of the Ulster involvement. Golf in Ireland in general, it's so strong, isn't it? Well, it's very strong. I mean, Northern Ireland at the moment, you've got the US Open champion and... You know, outside of Tiger Woods, the most exciting golfer in the world. I mean, for for a little uh, province like like Ulster, uh, you deserve you deserve an awful lot of credit for that. And um, the Golfing Union of Ireland as well too, who have brought them up um, through their um, through the formative years, and the, and the golf clubs up there in Port Rush and um, Hollywood in Rory's case deserve a lot of credit because uh, it's great. It's really putting putting Northern Ireland and Ireland on the map. And it just rolls off your tongue that when you say outside of Tiger Woods, Rory McIlroy is the most exciting golfer in the world. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite, I'm, I'm quite honest about that. There, there is nobody uh, anywhere in the world that attracts the attention that Rory does uh, when he goes to play, and and he's great. He's such an exciting player to watch. That's the thing about him. You know, he's not boring to watch. Um, to be honest, I'm not a big avid watcher of golf. Uh, but I did, uh, I, I did captain him last year when he played in the Vendee. I was very impressed with him. Um, but, but I was really impressed with him at the PGA in America, <clears throat> excuse me, in America a few weeks ago uh, when I watched all four days basically on TV. And I was really, really impressed with his demeanor, with the way he carried himself, with his body language, with the way he played, took on the shots and played the shots. And I can see what all the excitement is about Rory. And not just is he a great golfer and a great striker of the ball, but he's a great guy as well too and a credit to, to Ireland and, and, uh, and his family in, in Hollywood. It's an interesting admission that the vice captain of the European Ryder Cup team isn't an avid viewer of golf. Is that simply because you don't have time to watch? Um, yeah, well, I'm normally playing. Um, and when I'm at home, I'm watching Gaelic football or, or soccer or something. Golf will be something I would browse through as opposed to watching avidly. Um, I love playing it, uh, but I'm not a great watcher of what I have to say. Uh, you know, you, you mentioned the, the Gaelic there, and uh, I know you were a, you're a dub to the core, but and you, you, you nearly made it with the Jacks a, a number of years ago. But uh, Cork managed to to put them out, and they now play it down. How, how do you how do you view Sunday week? Oh, I'd love to see Down win. I'm very much on downside, and uh, I'm I'm a, I'm a great admirer of of, of both the football. Uh, our man Tyrone have really been leading the way, particularly Tyrone. I've been very impressed with Mickey Hart. I've read all his books and. I've been a big uh, a big fan of what he does and how he manages the team, and I'm very interested in what he what he has to do and say. Uh, and I'd love to see Down going on and following on from the success that Tyrone have had. Uh, I think it would be great for the game as well too, because nobody would have given Down a chance at the start of the season. Certainly, okay, maybe an outside chance, but not not to be in the final. And uh, I'd love to see them beat Cork because Cork put the dubs out. <laughs> I'd like right. to see them get to come up. And... Right. I was just wondering, you know, could professional golfers, individual sportsmen, learn anything from the likes of Mickey Hart? No doubt, yeah. I, I read his book. I took a lot from reading his book. Um, his man management, uh, his attention to detail, his scientific approach to, to management, um, but particularly his man management. I think that's a huge key when you're, when you're being a captain or when you're being a manager. Um, 
and I, I think that's where he where he wins hands down over a lot of a lot of other coaches. Well, Paul, I'm totally with you. I want uh, Down to win the, the Sam Maguire. We want Europe to win the Ryder Cup. Uh, Celtic Manor, I think it's about 22 days away now, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, first week in October. Um, we're looking forward to it. Obviously, we've got a little bit of a concern um, about the weather. Um, October in Wales can cannot be great. Uh, the golf course is down in the valley. Um, so <clears throat> the worry is if, if, if the weather happens to be good, um, there's a risk of fog. Uh, but on the other hand, if the weather happens to be bad, you know, it's quite a miserable place down in the valleys there. When it starts raining, it doesn't stop. So that's obviously a concern. We also have a bit of a concern over our top player, Lee Westwood, who's, who hasn't played you now for the last uh, nearly four weeks and is not going to play right up to the Ryder Cup. He's going to obviously do some practice and all that the week beforehand. So that's a bit of a concern for our team. Uh, but in general, we've got a very, very strong team. Um, We've got two major winners in Graham and Martin Keimer in our team uh, this year, current major winners. And uh, the excitement of Rory, uh, along with, you know, the Lee Westwoods and, and you know, Eduardo Molinari, who won, who won the, the last counting event to make the team in such impressive style. So I think it's going to be a great Ryder Cup, and I think it's going to be a great... Uh, I think it's a very strong American team. I think if we spoke three or four weeks ago, uh, I'd be telling you that the American team, you know, in general wasn't that strong. But I think a lot of them have showed a lot of form in the last month. Uh, and I think Corey Payton's been quite shrewd in his picks. He's made four good picks. So it should be a great event. I'm looking forward to it. And, and hopefully the weather will, will stay on our side. Yeah, let's hope we can get the cup back. Paul, it's coming up on the screen. So I'll ask you, would you have two spare tickets for Crook Park Sunday week? <laughs> no, I'm afraid not. I don't need the dubs matches that I can get tickets for. <laughs> <laughs> Paul, great speaking to you and continued success. And in, in, right. in, I know you're at the Dutch at the moment. Enjoy that. Th- thanks for your time. All right, thank you, and good luck to down. Thanks very much, Paul McGinley, there, vice captain for the European Ryder Cup team and one of the great golfers.